Student loan payments are back. Repayments start up again this week for the first time in years. 22 News reporter Duncan McLean has a look at how this will affect the economy and personal finances. People all over the country are reconsidering their finances this week with the reintroduction of what's likely one of their largest monthly payments as student loans get back to full swing. About one of every eight Americans owes money on a federal student loan and haven't had to make payments on those for three years now. The Biden administration did try to cancel up to $20,000 in student debt for eligible borrowers, but that program was officially struck down by the Supreme Court in June. Now, more than 40 million people must face that reality amid persistent inflation and rising interest rates, collectively owing around $1.6 trillion. Economists say the impact on the larger economy remains uncertain, but think that retailers and lenders will take the biggest hit as consumers reprioritize their spending. Between seven and eight billion dollars will be reallocated by households across the country every month. The typical monthly payment is around $350, but 10% of borrowers are on the hook for more than $700 a month. The Biden administration is encouraging everyone to investigate an income-driven repayment plan, which they say will lower almost everybody's monthly payments to a manageable level. There are four types, each with their own qualifications and features. You can find out more on our website, www.lp.com or at studentaid.gov. Working for you in Springfield, Duncan McLean, 22 News.